Finally, spring is here. I'm out in my garden. I'm watching all this new growth occur. I'm getting ready to plant some new stuff, but deer are all over the place. So how do we protect our plants from the deer, from munching on them and destroying all of the hard work that we've done? Well, in this video, we're going to delve a little bit deeper into that topic. Previously, last spring, I created a video outlining some of the general characteristics of plants that tend to be deer resistant. However, a lot of those deer resistant plants don't always tend to be the showiest, most colorful plants in the garden. And for me, color is what makes me feel so happy in the garden. I love having big, bold, beautiful colors in my garden like tulips and hydrangea, but those are oftentimes favorites of the deer. So what do we do to protect our plants? Well, the answer comes in the form of deer repellent spray. Now, when I first moved here a few years ago to this house in um, Chester County, Zone 6B in Eastern Pennsylvania, I got about a three acre garden surrounded by woods. The deer live all over the place. I planted tons of stuff. They ate everything. So I called up the fence guys like, can you guys come out here? Give me a quote, $25,000. I don't think so. I got really depressed. So I started to delve in the internet, do some research. I had heard of deer sprays before, but I really wasn't, uh, everything I'd heard was, oh, they don't work, they don't work. But I think that was like the fence salesman saying that on the internet because as I started to use them, I found out that they absolutely do work. So what are deer repellent sprays and how do they actually work? Well, deer repellent sprays, it's a spray comprised of all natural ingredients that basically replicate the smells that would occur in a predator prey situation between a deer and some sort of predator. Um, oftentimes in those situations, there are sulfuric compounds um, that linger in the air that tell the deer, all right, I need to stay away from those areas because they would put me, it would put me in danger to be in those areas. Well, these sprays are made up of ingredients that contain those, sulfur, those sulfuric compounds, but that are also all natural. So they essentially, by utilizing them, they um, create this odor that keeps the deer away. In fact, they actually keep the deer from even, just the smell alone deters the deer. They don't come and take some nibbles off and say, oh, I don't like that, and then they keep going on. No, they actually just smell it and they stay away. So what are these natural ingredients that have these sulfuric compounds? Well, you can think of things like rotten egg solids, garlic, meat proteins, uh, and other natural ingredients that honestly just smell to high heaven. So yes, um, the sprays do smell, but they do work. And the other great thing is because they are all natural, uh, they're totally safe if you have pets, totally safe if you have little kids running around. Um, the kids will definitely stay away from the smells, but there will be no harm to your children or to your pets if they're running around in the areas where you've used these. Now, most of these sprays are advertised as deer repellent, but I also find that they tend to repel um, little rabbits as well, sometimes chipmunks and squirrels, but not always, just something that you'll have to uh, find and experiment for yourself. So there's two main ways that the deer repellents come. One is in a spray, the other is, is in a granule form, and I like to use them both. Um, the granule form is really easily applied just by sprinkling it around the base of your plants, and they release this odor um, that keeps the deer away. And they say that it's kind of like a slow release style so that it will continue to work effectively over the course of a few weeks, um, which is nice. And then the other way, which is my preferred method is the deer repellent sprays. Now you can see I have two brands of different deer repellent sprays. I've used lots of different kinds. I'll leave some links um, in the description below for you to look for some deer repellent sprays. And I find that it's best to rotate them. I like to use a different spray every month. And yes, you do need to apply this to your plants every single month because as our plants grow and are producing new foliage, there's new sections of the plant that are now exposed to uh, ravaging deer that were not previously sprayed. Furthermore, I think that the sprays just start to lose their effectiveness after about a month. So for me, the first day of every month, I go out into my garden and I will utilize the spray. 
It's pretty easy to use. You shake it up nicely. I always use gloves because it will tend to leak a little bit of this uh, putrid smelling um, spray onto your hands. And then you go and you just spray a couple times on your plants. You don't have to cover all the leaves all, all over the place. Just one spray or two sprays on a single plant is really all you need to do. And that will absolutely protect your plants from the deer. Now that we're having our growth come out of the ground, this is a great time to apply your deer spray for the first time and then continue to do so once a month all growing season. So for me that means about March 15th till November 15th is when I will be applying them. So it's like what eight times that I'll be out in my yard um, applying our deer spray to my plants. I have a three acre garden. It takes me about 20 maybe 30 minutes at most to do it. Um, so it's really not that hard but it does require consistency and that is absolutely essential. So today I will use uh, my liquid fence. Next month I'll use my angry deer. The month after that I'll use my bonide repel repels all and I'll just kind of go in a series from one to the next. You don't want the, your deer to become accustomed to a specific smell. Um, otherwise they may start to munch on your plants uh, if they've gotten used to that smell. So of course, if you are planning on having like a dinner party or something, you don't want to spray this within like 48 hours of that dinner party outside because these plants will smell, but after about 40, 48, 72 hours, the smells subside to the human nose while still being um, effective against our uh, deer and rabbits and other critters. So that's a really good thing to note. And I know maybe it does sound like a little bit of extra work and it definitely is. But if you're watching this video, that means you're a gardener, that means you love your plants and you're going to be willing to spend a little bit of extra time protecting your plants because just like every other piece of work that we do with our plants, it all is about giving our plants the love that they need and deserve. And in return, they'll reward us with their love by showing us lots of gorgeous beauty. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and informative and easy to follow. If you still have any further questions, make sure to leave a comment below and I always do my absolute best to answer. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're bringing new plant-related content every single week. All right, guys, I'll catch you soon. Ciao.